Okay, so a lot of people have been asking how to um, do high scores and save high scores. So let's take a look. Right now, um, I've set up this little scene. Um, let's play it. All you do is you get a point for clicking this guy or 10 points for clicking this one. And we're going to, this button doesn't work at the moment, but we're going to make it that when you click save game, it will save your top three scores here. Cool. So let's do that. So this is just for the scene as is. Um, so this is just for the scores. This is just at the beginning of the scene. And this is our uh, button. What's this? Oh, go away. Um, so yeah, this is when basically when we click on save game and this variable here um, which will change to 1 when we've hit save um, just means we can only save when the score's changed. So um, if this is 0 it then flicks to 1 and it only goes back to 0 uh, when we've scored some points. So we have a save button here that allows us to save any time we've changed the score. Okay, so the next thing is we need to find out when we've hit save if we have a top three score and if we do to write it in. And it's not too hard, fortunately. Okay, the first step is to read in the old high scores. So we're gonna load the structured file high scores in quotes double quotes and then we're going to read a value file as high scores group is one and you'll probably want to declare these same variables to make this easier you just need score one two three um we well, don't need to declare them but it might help okay so we're going to read one and put it in one we're going to read two and put it in two and we're going to read 3 and put it in 3. So it's quite straightforward. And finally, when we've finished doing this reading, we're going to close the structured file high scores. Step 1 done. OK, next up, we want to see if our current score right now is actually better than one of those scores. So first of all, let's check if we beat the top score. So score, that's our score right now, is greater than or equal to the top score, which is variable one. So here we've read in the top score into variable one, and here we're seeing if we've beaten it. And then as a sub event, so if we have, then we're going to make that the new high score. So the first thing is we need to move the second place score to be the new third place score. Oh, I've done that the wrong way around. So um, variable number three will be equal to the old second place score. Then we need to do the same, the old high score becomes now the second highest and finally our current game score is the new high score okay so that has kind of put them in the right order next we want to save them and it's very similar to this so we can just copy that in we load the um, structured file and then instead of read a value, we just write a value and it's the same thing. So high score group one, and we want to have um, same variable one in there. And then it's the same thing. I'm gonna write variable two into two. And we're gonna write variable three into three. That's kind of a bit out of sight. And finally, close the structured file.
Okay, so what have we done so far? When we hit save, we load the old high scores in. One, two, three, the old top three. If we beat the top one, the old best score becomes the second best. And the old second best becomes the third best. And our current score becomes the top one. With this, it's really important you do it in this order. If you do it in any other order, it'll mess up. So it's got to be two to three, one to two, score to one. And if you're doing, say, a top four or top five, then this will be three to four and four to five. It has to go in that order. It's very important. Then we're writing our new values in. And the final thing is we want to just display them in this text here. So let's quickly do that. Never remember where the buttons are. Okay, so I've got my text object number one that holds the high score. It's variable string one. And then we just do that for two and three. Two, three. So text of number two is score number two. And the text of number three is number three. Okay, the final thing is at the beginning of the scene we also want to load the high scores in so we can copy this event here put it there and after it copy this event where we output the score to screen how did i not copy that copy that event and put it there so at the beginning of the scene we're going to load in the high scores and display them Okay, let's see if that worked. I know currently there aren't any high scores because no one's played the game, so let's set some high scores. Okay, so there's some new high scores. And if we close this and relaunch it, there's our high score chart saved. Okay, so there's just one last thing. Um, this is if we beat the top score. What about if we only get second place or third place? Now if you want you can go and try and do that on your own. That's a good exercise if you've just been following this. Or if not you can just watch and I'll just quickly show you that now. Okay, so these two guys um, we always want to call anyway, so we'll put these on on their own at the end. Because we can just always do this, irrespective of what score we beat. Okay, and then here we'll just put in a special case each one. There's lots of ways you can do this, but this... <coughs> sorry. This way is just quite easy. So if our score is less than the high score, so if we're less than the high score, but we're greater than or equal to the second highest, then we don't do our current score to number one, but to number two, because we just got the second highest. And we don't need to get rid of the top score because we didn't beat it, so we get rid of that. And then in the final case, if the variable score is less than second, but it's greater than three. We just need to add our score into the third slot. Okay, so if we beat the top score, we reshuffle all three. If we beat the second, we don't need to touch the top score. If we beat the third, um, we only need to just throw it into third spot. And this can all just get called every time, that's fine. Okay, so let's test that out. Uh, what do we want? We want to beat second place. So that should be a new second place score. There we go. And I didn't put a score reset, so I'll just reset the scene. Uh, set a new second place that's a bit higher. And now we'll set a third place score of 15. 
or 16 and it just goes in. So that's how you do high scores and save them.